the new moon. Shalom to the families. Wherever you at, shalom. Mosaic Christ bless you. I want to start with, uh, yeah, y'all know, yeah, your brother's got mic over there. Brother's got some, uh, y'all give these brothers some mic. Yeah, I want to start with the, uh, yeah, my mic. All right. Yeah, man, pass it to the brother in the, uh, yeah, brother in the blue. There's next. There, there is. Yeah, man, why are we Shalom, here today, sir. sir? New moon, sir. The new moon. You have something for me? You have a scripture for me to prove that we're here? Yes, sir. Can you got Psalms 81. So let's read that. The book of Psalms. Chapter 81 and verse 1. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalms and bring hither the timbrel and pleasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon. Oh, you was about to get me just, you know what I'm saying, get, get the brother in some trouble out here. Because that's not a Christmas. He's supposed to know why he's here. Right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But see, brother, almost got you heated right here. Go ahead. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Okay. For this was a statue for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. Yeah, that's why we blow the trumpet in the new moon. You heard that. that this is commended of us. When we keep the new moon, we have to blow the trumpet. So today is the new moon. We blow the trumpet. Give it to the next brother. Give it to, I thought I saw Shemaiah's son. No? Yeah, uh, give it to, uh, give it to the next brother. The brother that is behind him. Yeah, I see him put his hand up in the spirit. Go ahead. Uh, we got 2 Kings 4 and 23. 2 Kings 4 and 23. That's the first time I heard that one. I, I, let me see. You sure? Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Let's see. Isaiah 66 and 23. Let's read that. Something new. It might be old. Something new. Isaiah. You said 66 and what? 23. New, 23. Remember, I asked you about the new moon. Why are we here? The new moon. Okay. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath yes. to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, yeah. says the Lord. Come on, man. Say, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's prophecy. Go ahead. Give it to the next brother. That's why when you come here, you have to know this is the week of the new moon. So you're, you're listening to class that have to do with the new moon. Because when there was Christmas, music is playing all the time. You'll catch it quick. But you have to get your spirit to wall and you know the scriptures. You don't know when they're going to ask you questions. Go ahead. Uh, Amos 8 and 5. Amos 85. 8 and 5. Oh, 8, eight and 5. five. Okay. Yes, Let's read that. Let's read that. Because we remember Christmas. We remember Thanksgiving, right? The book Why is the new moon? We forgot scriptures. Go the ahead. Book, the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 5. Saying, when will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great? I'll give you a pass on that one. But they're showing you how our people was cannot wait for the new moon to end it so they can do far. They can do far. Anything else? That's it? That's all you have? Give it to the next brother next to you. Shalom, leadership. Uh, yes, shalom. 10 and 10. Uh, numbers 10 and 10? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is a good one. The book of Numbers 10 and 10. The book of Numbers, chapter 10, verse 10. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, you shall blow with the trumpet over your burnt offerings and off over the sacrifices of your peace offerings 
that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. Read it from the beginning. Numbers chapter 10, verse 10. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in the solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months. In the beginning of the month, that's the new moon, go ahead. You shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you your for a memorial before your God. Oh, please. Yeah, who has the next brother next to you? Yes. Shalom, leadership. Hey, shalom, fam. Uh, Isaiah 66, 23. 66, 23. Where's that? We already got that. Okay. I'll break it. Yeah, give, give it to the brother next to you. See what he got. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's give him the next one. And, uh, what's that? So, uh, yeah. So, you want me to read it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sirach 43, verse 6. You guys, you guys have to be familiar with that, man. That's what I keep telling you guys, man. You understand? It's not something. Why do you think he told Joshua that meditate on it days and night? Saying that's something that you know. That's easy. You know that new moon about to come. So you look at for class that have to do with new moon. You understand? So you know you're You know what I mean? You get the mindset why you're here. You know what I mean? That joy. Why are you going to show up here today? That gladness. Why are you going to show up here today? You got to get in tune on that thing. Go ahead. Sirach, verse 40, Sirach 43, verse 6. He made, the new, he made the moon also to serve in her seasons for a de declaration of times mm -hmm. and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. You know, we read the scripture saying that, you know, like the earth was created for us. There, there's a perfect verse right here. He make the, he make the moon for the feast, for our feast day. <laughs> that, that, that's how much he loves us. He make the moon for our feast day. You understand? That's why when Ezra, when, when Ezra make the statement, it's a true saying. He make the moon to do what? For from the moon is the sign of feast, a it, light that decreaseth in her perfection. You understand? So anytime you see the moon, it's for the, it's for the children of Israel to remember their feast day. To remember that uh, uh, Salam feast. You know what I mean? The, uh, the, 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 you understand? So let me, ask you, let, let me ask you guys a question. It's not a question. It's a statement. So if the moon was made, was made for the Israelite, so what is the sun? What about the stars? All these elements that, that is in the heaven that was created for us. Everything was given to us, man. The world was given to us and everything in it. You understand? But what we, what, we, what we inherit, we inherit time. That's the only difference. We inherit time. Because there is a beginning, there is an end in this world. The world to come, there is no beginning and end. <laughs> you understand? We inherit time. So while you in this time, you end, brother, if I was you, I'd pay attention to these feast days, the Sabbaths, the laws, because you don't know when you're going to be gone. If you inherit time, guess what? You might die at the age of, what is that, 12, 13, 14, 15. You understand? You don't know your time. You understand? There's a lot we have to think, man. And it's true. The Lord's given us the knowledge for a reason. I want to start with, uh, uh, with Proverbs 20, uh, 28 and verse 4. We inherit time. So take time seriously. Take your time seriously. The book yeah. of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. A, but lot, of a lot of time we read that verse. Those that forsake the law praise the wicked. Those that forsake the law praise the wicked. Let's read. But such as keep the law content, contended with them. Mm -hmm. Evil men understand not judgment. Now that's all I want, verse 4. Let's read it again. They that forsake the law praise the wicked. Let's, let's look at the word praise up there. Give it to me for 500. Praise. The Lord said, if you forsake his law, you're going to praise the wicked. I'm going to show you that all these times we've been praising the white man as God. 
Your Christianity church been worship the white man as God. Islam worship the white man as God. Buddha worship the white man as God. Then look at the word praise. Praise. Praised, praising. To express a favorable judgment. To, uh, to glorify by the uh, attribution of perfection. Now let's, let's go to definition of glorify. Go ahead. Glorify, to make glorious by bestowing honor, praise, or admiration. Yes, see admiration. that? Read that first. Read that first to make. Go ahead. To Number make. one. Number one? Yeah. To make glorious by bestowing honor, praise, or admiration. You see that? That's what we, that's what we treat the white men as. You understand? Because we have to state God's laws. So when we worship, when we was, when we was, when the, when the Lord set the white man over us, that's what we did to the white man. We glorified him, honor him. That's why it's hard for us to even need, to even need, take the image that we've been learning for years, the white man is Christ. Yeah, it's good for you to say, I see a black Christ, but it's deep within your soul, man. You understand? That's why when you go in the street, it's hard for our people to believe that. Christ is a black man. After you would have think common sense, you read something to somebody. She read it, you read it. Then she said, I don't believe this. Christ is white. Or she will read it and said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> that means that's a dumb spirit. It's <laughs> straight up, man. That's a dumb spirit. That's a dumb spirit. You read it, she read it. Then she said, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, why is there then? You understand? Go ahead. Now let's go, uh, let, let's go back to the verse. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 4. Mm -hmm. they, that forsake the, they that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Now let's give me that Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to prove that. Deuteronomy 28, we're going to read 47, 48. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Because we decide not to serve the Lord our God with joyfulness, right? Remember what he's referring to. Because we refuse to serve God with a joyful spirit. Go ahead. And with gladness of heart. And a gladness spirit of heart. We refuse to do that. Go ahead. For the abundance of all things. All you have to do is praise that man. You understand? Then he's going to give you everything you needed. Think about it. <laughs> All you have to do, glorify that man. He's going to give you everything you needed. That's why Christ says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Now y'all don't want to seek first the kingdom of God. Y'all want the blessing though. <laughs> it doesn't work out like that. Seek ye first before the blessing. Every man and every woman is going to be tried. That's why you guys don't understand. This walk made for men and women that is strong. You understand? He's saying that the Lord said because we don't want to serve him with a joyful spirit, a, a, a glad, a glad, what is it? A, a Gladness glad of, heart. of heart. This is what he's going to do. Go ahead. For the abundance of all things, verse 48, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So if you didn't want to praise him, who are you going to praise? Your enemy. You understand? That's why you're joyed over Christmas. That demonic spirit Christmas. You're, you're glad over the spirit of Thanksgiving when they come. I want to gather the family. This is not the spirit of God. <laughs> you understand? Because you refuse to keep his commandment. Guess what? You are here searching all type of demonic spirit out here. Christmas is a demonic spirit. Thanksgiving is a demonic spirit. Mother's Day is a demonic spirit. Fourth of July is a demonic spirit. Halloween is a demonic spirit. You have to understand that. You don't want to serve him for everything. Now guess what? The 9 to 5. Are you satisfied now? You hardly can spend time with your family. You satisfied now? 
You happy with your nine to five? Because you didn't want to serve him for everything. He said, if you serve him for everything, he's going to give you everything. Adam didn't have to do a damn thing. You understand? That's how you have to look at the Lord said, because you didn't want to serve me, I'm going to give you to the hands of your enemy. Then what the hell are you acquiring when he kill you in every street? You decide to give that man power over you by you continuing your damn sin. You understand? You give the wicked power over you. Look at the black community. Sin, when you're in sin, you give the wicked power over you to do your all type of folly. Look at slavery, for example. What's good? The white man don't have anything good in him. How the hell the Lord set, set him over us? Because for judgment's sake. You understand? The thing you have done to us, those are wicked things. I hope you understand that. Hang you in the tree. Mistreat you. Those are wicked things. Those are evil things. That's what Moses was trying to warn you. Today I said before you life and death. You didn't understand that. Now you understand it now. When, when he put his foot in your neck, you understand it. When he chained you, you understand it. That was a physical thing. But Moses warned you from these things, man. That's why these prophets, when, they, when we come back, we mad at the sight we see. Because why? Moses warned us, man. We want your guys. Since in the Syrian time, we come and want your guys. Yo, you don't want to keep this commandment. This will happen. Babylon, we came back. We want your guys. Yo, listen. The Lord said you're going to go over Babylon 70 years. You know what I mean? We, hey, hey, you're going to serve them? This is what happened. What we said, nah, we don't have to bow down to Babylon. Then when their king, that, that caught the king, though, he understood. When that put him to death in front of his son, he understood. That put his son to death in front of him, he understood. He understood what was what was saying. It's the same thing as us today. We said, we pet or die, you're looking at us like we're crazy. Okay. Okay. You on, you're going to finally realize we are your warning. We just wanted you. We cannot judge you, really. But what we bring out is the warning of the Lord because the Lord is going to do his vengeance upon you simple behind. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Hey, officer, let me have uh, Since we're talking about praise, uh, from, with the first scripture, I said, those who forsake the Lord praise the wicked. Go to Matthew 6.24. This is what Christ said. I know a lot of time when we see what happened to our people out there, Police put us, police killing us every day. We killing each other. But like, like Deacon said, it all have to do with sin. This is why Christ said this. Read the book of Matthew, chapter six. Because we just read in Deuteronomy twenty eight that because we didn't want to serve God with all joyfulness, with all gladness, so He give us to folly. Yes, That's what He did. He He give you. Here you are, you got everything, but you wasn't satisfied. You want to serve other gods. So this is what Christ said. Read the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse twenty-four. No man can serve two masters. So Christ said, a man cannot serve two master. Let me break something down to you. In this world, there is either God or the devil. You either pick God or you if you're not serving God. There is no between. I hope you guys know that. There is no I'm neutral. Because some of you think you're neutral. You said, I don't believe in God, but I don't believe in Satan either. No, that's impossible. You don't know what you're talking about. You either serve God or you either serve Satan. Yep. And the white man is the devil. That's what they can say. You either serve God or you, you serve the so white the man. Devil. So because whatever the white man put in place, if that's what you follow, you actually serve the white man. Read. For either he will hate the one and love the other. You see that thing? You either going to love one or love the other. Some of you, the devil is at, right at your house. So, some of you is your wife. You pick your wife over Mosai. Some of you, you pick your children over Mosai. That's why Christ said you cannot serve to master. Some of you pick your job over Mosai. It's It's... Whatever idols, whatever it is that keep you from serving Mosai, that's what you're worshiping. <laughs> you, you know, you know, our people gonna, our people gonna realize. You do remember how many gods we serve in yeah. the Egyptian? You're gonna find out in America you serve more God. There is more God in America than was in Egypt. Egyptian. 
There is more God in America. Where, where, every time you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate a God. <laughs> yep. Every time you celebrate Thanksgiving, you celebrate you celebrating a God. <laughs> every time you celebrate the Esau high do is this so-called holiday, Esau put in place, you celebrate you're worshiping a God. You, you I know you're not worshiping most high. Because those things you worship, that's not in the Bible. Go ahead. That thing go, you know, like well, it's just like you you talking to a like yeah, I forget who brother I was talking to. And a lot of times, the easy way to take this truth to for the truth to be easy for you have to acknowledge your age in this truth. Then whoever dumb brothers that come trying to take you out, you have to acknowledge that too. You have to say, yo, brother, how old are you? How old are you? Oh, five years. You're going to follow a five-year-old. That's how stupid we are. You gonna, how old you been in the truth? Seven, you seven years old? What the hell? I'm doing following you. You dumb as I'm dumb. <laughs> you understand? But you're going to follow these men because they got great speech. Great way. That's what I tell you guys. Let me see. I'm hitting like, what is that? 15, 16. Don't follow me. You can see that dem- the devil get on me. Or you can do cur- uh, call me and curse my simple behind out. Don't just, oh, Deacon, you right. No, 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 no. You need to call me and curse my simple behind out. Because I'm only 15 years old. I'm only a kid. You're going to just follow me. Because, because you just want to left the truth. Or you can, can lie about this. I guarantee you. I'm thinking about that. I was thinking about that the other day. I'm going to have a class. Why I left our UIC. Then I'm going to put my picture in there. I guess how many views I'm going to have. Watch that. Because you're a bunch of idiots. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And in want of all things. Let me ask you guys a question. If I pick any one of you then I decide to provide for you. What I become to you? A father. So you serve the white man as a father. Because he's going to give you all that. So what you, why do you think they're fighters in these streets for? They're fighting for the father. No, nah, the father give me their free welfare. Hell no. You ain't, you ain't giving me nothing yet. You just be doing the great speech. Their father give me, uh, uh, my father give me a uh, 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 section eight. No, you ain't give me nothing yet. You understand? What about housing? My father give me housing. What you got for me, Nick? No, you reject the laws of God. That's why you're suffering. You understand? We are suffering. Because guess what? Because of our, us disobey the law, look at our condition today. Now, so some of you who think the Bible is a fairy tale. Get yourself out of the captivity you're in. We heard some dumb niggas talking about they're going to gather guns. Get yourself out of that. We heard some dumb dudes talking about they're gods. Why don't you get yourself out of this captivity if you are God? Get yourself out of this captivity. See how far you get you. As a matter of fact, get yourself out, get your people out. If you think it's because of finance, get your people out of here. If you think because of the education, get your people out of here. You simple men. It's because you break God's commandment. We're the most wise people in the planet Earth. The most smart people in the planet Earth. Go ahead, man. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst. That's and like the black man would not keep laws. You're talking about let's deal with finance. Let's read, let we, let's read Joshua 1 and 8, what the Lord said. Man. We don't get in our damn emotion. And Philly, we good on that one. The book, of, the book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, and that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. People don't realize that. We come with everything we need in this earth. It's already in you. Everything you need is already in you. You understand? That's what the Lord wants you to meditate. Think. Be a creative. The white man said, nah, I don't need your guys to think. They go MTV, BET. It's looking at the big booty, big chest. You good black man. You understand? Why you think we lie? Why you think we, we, uh, 80% of us locking in jail? You understand? Why you think all that going on? Go ahead. Verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? 
Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. You heard that? Meditate on it days and night. Be not afraid. The Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So who man who can gain, who man who can stand against you if the Lord is with you? What spirit that can go against you? The whole earth was given to you, man. Just meditate on it. Don't worry about your job when they fire you. Keep your, keep your, keep staying strong. Don't worry. Maybe the Lord wants you to have another one. Maybe the Lord wants you to be the creator if you are. You understand? Yeah, look at the world like this, right? Everything we're looking at, those are thoughts. That's a thought of a, of a person. This is a thought of base people. Look what they created. The white man, look what he created. It's a thought. The, by, the book is a thought. Everything you see there, the pen, the pencil is a thought. But looking at the main creation, you telling me God is your father? Then you're going to lack of created? No, you have to see and think. What he's trying to tell you. Meditate in these laws. Don't worry about there is no bridge there. You understand? You're going to create the bridge to get in the other side. You understand? Don't worry about it. You're a creator. You're a God. God created. You're the sons of God. You understand? The, kiven, the kingdom of heaven is within you. Have you not examined that? You don't know that? It's right there with you. But guess what? We question the authority. We question God. We question the power. Let me tell you something. Let me show you how foolish is man. Give me the scripture said, the deceiver and the deceive is his. Let me show you how foolishness we are. <laughs> think about it. A man who got the power, the deceiver and the deceiver is his. You think you can play with him? <laughs> you think you can play with that man? You crazy. Meditate on it days and night. You understand? Don't fear. He say he's your God. He got you. You understand? We don't have to worry about a thing when we meditate days and night. That don't mean bad thing ain't going to happen. But when that happens, we know why that happened. It's a trial. It's a time of trial. Everybody must go through the trial of tribulation. Thus said the Lord. So why you bug down when you, uh, uh, your pop die? Why you bug down? Your, your friends are, yay. Dead must come, right? So why we sitting around bugged around? You don't believe the Bible, man. Go ahead. The book of Job, chapter 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. I want you to read it from the first. What he said? With him is what? With him is strength of wisdom. You hear that? With him is strength of wisdom. You want to learn any wisdom is from him. Strength. Law, statutes, and commandment is your strength. With him is strength and wisdom. Go ahead. The deceived. Hold and on, hold on, hold on, brother. Let's, let's put the word there. The deceived. Let's put the word there. Today you're going to learn something. The word deceived. Deceived, to cause to accept as true or valid what is false or invalid. You see that? That's, that's what deceives me, right? To it make you seem like it's the truth, but it's not valid or fake. You understand? And, but I want you guys to focus on that. Let me see what. Huh? Go ahead. Verse um, number three says to be false to. Yeah, let go to three. Number three says, to be false to, you have deceived our trust. Yeah, read that again. You have deceived our trust. We have deceived the trust, right? Did not God put the trust in you to do, to keep his commandment? So anytime you see trust is there, deceive is there also. Because for somebody to trust you, that this, uh, the, the other spirit exists as well. You understand? Go ahead. Let, let's go. Let's go. Continue read. Verse uh, on this one. Now continue read oh. the verse. Job chapter 12, verse 16. 
With him is strength and wisdom. Uh -huh. And the deceived and the deceiver are his. Now let's look at the word deceiver. Okay, okay, bring it up. Let me see something. Bring it up. Uh, look at the... Hold on, bring it down. Yes. Go ahead, bring it up. Yes, let's read that. Uh, to make someone believe something that is not true... To practice deceit, also to give a false impression. Okay, I want you all to focus on what he said. Let's read it again slow. To make someone believe something that is not true. How are you going to do that? To make someone believe something is not true. How are you going to do that? To make someone believe something that's not true. I'm going to show you the white man is the spirit of deceit. Deceive. He's the deceiver. You understand? He's a deceiver. Okay? You remember uh, uh, the white man said Christ is white, right? When you look at the Bible, it doesn't say that. <laughs> but he's bold and tell you the white, tell you Jesus Christ is white. When you read the Bible, the Bible said that that's what Christ said, the truth is going to set you free. When you read it, you're going to, no, Jesus Christ ain't white. The children of Israel is not white, white people. They are, the, they are black. But he's so bold and he's deceiving. You understand? You believe. Without him, even he show it to you. You believe him. Because he's been playing a father to you all this time. So everything he says is true to you. That's why you're not, you're, not, you're not looking out to search nothing for yourself. Because your father tell you what Jesus Christ is white. So I believe my father. No, Jesus Christ is black. The white man is a spirit of deceiver. Deceiving deceiver. That's his woe. Go ahead. Let's go back to the verse. Mm -hmm. Job 12, verse 16. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He yeah, 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 I'm going to show you guys something about. <laughs> so you know what's so heavy about that? He's telling you God control everything. That's why they don't understand. <laughs> Good or evil. He control it. That's why he said the deceive or the deceiver are his. So he control it. There's, a, there's another scripture that said he give them a spirit of, uh, of blindness that they may not see. That they may not see. So now, what's so interesting about that verse, some of our people was made, was created not to receive this. Yeah, that's what the Lord... <laughs> that's that's what he's telling you. Some of our people, no matter what you said, they're not going to get it. Why? Because they were created to die. Period. Mm. Who are you to go against God? That's what God said. He said, the deceiver and the deceiver, and the deceiver are his. So, so if he make that statement, look at that statement he made. He said both of them are his, right? If he say, if he make that statement, what he trying to tell you? You got to obey to what he said. <laughs> That's really what he said. Obey to what I told you. Because those two force, they belong to me as well. When you be in this, those force belong to me. If you're going to disobey my laws, they go their force, they're going to go against you. That's what he's trying to let you know. You have to look at God as a, as a God that loves his children. He designed a system and teach you about the system he created. That's why he said, when you come to serve the Lord, what he said? Prepare your soul for what? So how, how he know that? He, he created the whole thing. He tell you, son, if you're going to come to serve me, there's another force I created who's going to go against what I'm telling you. But I'm going to try you to see if you believe what I told you. Go ahead. No, no, what, what, where was that before? Jo yeah, we're going to drop the deceive. Then we're going to go, we're gonna go uh, in the prophets, 1 Kings 13. 
show you about the, I'm going to show you something about, about the word of God. How serious the word of God is. The book of 1 Kings. We started 7, right? Yeah. Chapter yeah. 13, verse 7. They go a prophet. The Lord come and tell them, give them a mission to do. And the king said unto the man of God, come home with me and refresh thyself and I will give thee a reward. You see that the king want to buy this dude. But look what he told the king. And the man of God said unto the king, If thou wilt give me half thy house, I will not go in with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. For so was it charged me by the word of the Lord. You see, because the Lord tell him, Go in this place. Do not take no bride. No, don't eat no food with these. Don't eat nothing there. He understood that. He told the king that. Go ahead. For, the, for, so was the charge, for so it was charged me by the word of the Lord, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the same way that thou comest. That's what he told the king. Go ahead. So he went another way, <laughs> and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Mm -hmm. Now therefore, now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. The words which he had, had spoken unto the king, them they told also to their father. You see, he did the work, then also he put their king in his place, right? But listen to what just happened and pay attention. Go ahead. And their father said unto them, what way, what way went he? For his sons had seen what way the man of God went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon, and went after the man of God, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Are thou the man of God that camest from Judah? <laughs> and he said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me, and eat bread. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. For it was said to me by the word of the Lord, Thou shalt eat no bread, no drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. Remember, he told that prophet what the Lord is telling him, right? But listen to what that dude, uh, what they did, what they, what they dude did. Go ahead. He said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and an angel spake unto me by the word of the Lord, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house. Remember, he told that he said he got a charge from the Lord, right? He acknowledged there was a charge. Now the other dude come to him and said, or oh, an uh, angel come to me. Not like you heard, on, uh, you heard that on YouTube all the time. Oh, God, God come to me. An angel come to me. Tell me that. One, one time my sister said, uh, God going to destroy you in six months. I guess an angel come to her too and tell her that. Go ahead. Then we've been, we've, we've been staying strong for uh, at least 15 years strong. Go ahead. That he, that he may eat bread and drink water, but he lied unto him. You see that? The spirit of lie entered to that dude. You understand? He said, an uh, angel, come talk to him. That's what a lot of you don't understand. How the hell you get in these doors? How the hell you going to let somebody else remove you from these doors? Think. How the hell you get here? I guarantee you, either you was watching some type of folly on TV, the Lord say, hey, check these dudes out. You understand? You was not right when the Lord knocked your door. You was not righteous. The Lord knocking your doors. He's knocking your doors. He tell you, come up in here. Then how the hell are you going to let a brother or sister get your simple behind out of here? Because you didn't, you didn't take the charge. You didn't take the call. You didn't take your call seriously. That's the same that happened to the prophet right here. He was charged to do a job. You understand? He going to listen to that dude talking about, our angel come talk to me. It's the same thing about these bug, bugged out jakes on YouTube, man. Oh, the Lord, I'm also the man of the Lord. No, you are reject of the Lord. That's what they are, reject. For a moment, that's just like a tree you cut. You cut a lift from the tree. Soon you cut the leaf, it look green, right? But give that little, the tree you cut for a while. Look what's going to become out of it. 
Nothing. Nothing. Shrink. Nothing. Then there's an example on you too if you don't think what I'm saying is true. We have elders, deacons, captains, officers, soldiers, members that left. Go back on you to search their name out. See what they become of them. Men, when they put a video up, 5,000 hit one time. Two, 3,000. Now they cannot even gather 200. <laughs> We're not talking things we don't know. We think on things that we do know. Then we reveal it to you guys. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, brothers, the, the brothers, sisters too. Each and one of us in this should have a loss. Mm. Some of you, you're in denial of your loss. But most I got know you lost. Mm -hmm. Most I got is going to use these guys on Facebook, on YouTube to prove you according to your loss. I'm telling you, some of you have, every one of us have a loss. Because right now, people that used, I know a couple of brothers that used to be with us, they're pushing to wife that multiple women, they're pushing it hard. And I can see, I see some brothers on, 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 in there. I see sisters in there. Yes, I, yes, I teach. I. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Remember the scripture Christ said, those who offend the little one? Do you guys actually know what that mean? Let me tell you. That's what there's a scripture in Proverbs said. Because Messiah got done bring judgment fast enough, men, how'd it go? Yes, Ecclesiastes. He said, because... God is long. God is, is actually long suffering. He always gives a long time to repent. But these brothers that's pushing stuff to make Israel break the law, mark my word, judgment is coming for them. You see, you see. It, listen, judgment can take ten years from now. It's coming. It's and coming. No. I'm telling you, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. You remember Saul? Saul? Yeah. Saul. Was a reject of the Lord. Yep. But he, he was still a king for a while. He was a king for a while. <laughs> After a while, then what did he, he the did? He did much evil. Him. The Lord had to kill his simple King behind. Saul did much evil, and God gave King Saul <laughs> multiple chances to repent. Yep. He never, he never wanted to repent. Just like you see today yep. on YouTube, on Facebook. These boys don't understand. God give him, God's give him a, going to give him a lot of space to repent. A lot of space. Yep. Read that scripture right quick for me. The book of Sirach, chapter 8, Ecclesiastes. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. You know why it's not executed speedily? Because God is long-suffering. That's why he say he wished no man to be perish. Read. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men... Is fully set in them to do evil. You see that thing? Those are the same brother who never repent. They're pushing. It's okay to break God's laws. Mm -hmm. it's, okay, it's okay to cook on the Sabbath. There's nothing wrong with that. You, those of you who want to follow them, follow them. But I'm telling you, when judgment comes for them, judgment going to come for you too. Don't worry. Right. It can take 10 years from now. But it's coming. Right. That's called offended the little one. Because a lot of these brothers and sisters that's following that thing, they don't know any better. But that's still no excuse. Judgment is coming for them. He it says in verse 12. Go ahead. Yeah, you got, to, you got to see this truth that like, that thing is so precious to you. Everybody that, you see that sister that is next to you, that's your enemy. That's how you have to start looking this truth. Until then, she have to prove herself to you. That brother that is sitting next to you is your enemy. He, until he prove himself to you. You understand? He's in this fight with you. You understand? So anything, you got to pay attention, man, to your surroundings, attention to your surroundings. Because anybody can become, like Bishop had a class one time, say, any, each one of us can become Judas Cariot. I'm telling you, you're straight. Knowing that how you get in these doors, man. You didn't come here with none of us. Did you come here with me? No. You understand? So pay attention. You see me talking about let's go. Yeah, oh, 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 what the hell? Where I'm going? <laughs> I didn't come here with you. <laughs> That's how you have to look at things, man. You didn't know how I get here. How the hell I'm going? I ain't going nowhere with you. 
Because you know this, for them to talk like that, they have to discredit your leadership. You notice all of them come with the same demonic spirit? Go ahead. This is 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 19. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his you house. See you see that, brother? After that, give him charge. That's all the brother do not do that. He going to listen to that dude talking about, uh, Angel, come talk to me. That's not the same thing brother said today. Today, same thing. What are you talking about? I know that a brother said, a brother said he been in IUIC for a year. He said he got enough knowledge. Now he's out. He gonna, he's going to build his own congregation. <laughs> Those are, but these spirit, you know why they wise up? Give me that, uh, uh, give me that scripture I asked you for, for silly, silly, silly woman. That's why they're wise. That's what these spirit there for, man. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 6. For of this sort are they which crept into houses. Mm, see? And Go ahead. And led captive silly women laden with sin. You know how they get in your houses? The TV. That's how they get to your houses. On YouTube, they get to your houses. Your phone, they get to your houses. Deacon. You know, I, I, I know we always use this for silly women. We got silly brothers too. No, no, you trust me. I'm about <laughs> to merge them together. You know I'm good on that one. Go ahead. For this sort are they which creep into houses and laid captive silly women laden with sins. Yeah, I mean, like Deacon just says, silly men as well, laden with sin. They're looking for these guys to tell you can have two wives, whether you being silly right now by, by believing these dumb dudes, man. Go ahead. Led away with diverse lusts. You see what Deacon just said earlier is your lust. Because of your lust. Don't forget, lust have to do with covetousness as well. You understand? It's your lust who draw you to these men. It's your covetousness that will draw you to these men. Oh, you know. Or oh, 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 your bitterness will draw you to these men. Because a brother or sister did something to you, you feel like, oh, I ain't going to forgive him. I ain't going to forgive her. Then now you're talking about, now when they bounce, you bounce. Because of your bitterness you have in your heart. I'm telling you, if you have bitterness in your heart, you ain't going to make it in the kingdom, man. Straight up. What bitterness will do, bitterness will blind your eyes to see what God trying to teach you, man. Bitterness. You got so much bitterness towards your Lord. Bitterness towards that congregation. Bitterness. You're not going to see nothing clear with the spirit of bitterness. will blind you. Sin is a spirit of blindness, man. Sin is a spirit of darkness. You cannot see clear with bitterness. You cannot see clear with covetous. You cannot see clear with, with loss. You cannot see clear. But in your mind, Satan say, you see, there you go. You see this. You see that. That's all good. Then you notice when a person in the midst of sin, that's one thing about that when you're in the spirit, you would know that. They always point fingers. Pay attention to that. They don't see themselves. All. They always talk about people too. See, Satan doing this, this. That's how you know that person in sin. When you talk about people, you're in sin. <laughs> That's why you keep printing finger. But you can never print the finger at you. It's always like that. Always gossiping. You heard what happened to the sister? I don't like the sister. I don't like the brother. Those are sin. Sin. But if you're in sin, you're not going to catch it. But if you're not in sin, say, yo, brother, stop. If that brother does anything to offend you, go to that brother. Stop. Don't tell me nothing about that. And shut your mouth, man. Go, go fix it with the brother. Sister, just shut your mouth. Go fix it with your sister. That's, that's how cold you have to become for your salvation. You have to be cold. <laughs> that don't mean you don't love that person. You have to be cold for your salvation, man. And, and your sisters, and sisters, they want to do this. If you have a problem with a sister, you fix it. Do not go to another sister and explain it to the sister. What you're doing is you're causing confusion. Because you said... You and the sister is good. You are fix it. You are apologize to each other. So why would you go to another sister still talking about the same thing? That never That's happened. some evil stuff. I'm telling you what. No, that's some evil stuff. Never so happened. what you're doing is you try to win point with that sister over the other sister, when, which you are only fix it. That's some evil stuff. And some of you is doing that. I know some of you is doing that right here. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Your brothers. If you have a problem with a sister, tell your wife to go fix it with the sister. 
Do not take what you have said and then come in the congregation having class and blast everybody. That's some evil stuff. Your wife is running the congregation towards you, to you. That's what she's doing. You're weak. I'm telling you right now, you're weak. I'm going to, I'm going to, you remember that brother, uh, they're having a, they're having a gathering together. They go to their brother's wife. But their wife comes inside and says, hey, what happened to the food? The officer said, some sister is late with the food. They go to their brother's wife going to tell the, going to tell the officer, now we're going to start the party without the food. So the officer said, hold on, sis. We're going to, we're going to, as we planned it, that's how we're going to do it. They go to her, she called her husband. Her husband come and curse these brothers out for the damn demon sister. Where they at today? Outside UIC. I'm telling y'all guys, man. Y'all, y'all guys that set to be leader, that's one thing, man. I never, I never gonna bow down to no woman, man. You understand? You have to examine the words. Instead of calling the brother, talking about what the hell she talking about. That's what I would have done. Call the bro- brothers what the hell she talking about. That's what, that's us. I tell you, man, my ex will tell you that. You know what I mean? I love that congregation. Because I'm not going to take, if your name is in anything, you guilty, man. <laughs> because I teach you better than that. Your name is in anything. I don't care if you write you. Your, your simple behind is guilty. I'm telling you, all man. You as leaders stand up for most high God, man. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Book of 1 Kings, chapter 13, verse 19. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drank water. And it came to pass, as they sat at the table, that the word of the Lord came unto the prophet that brought him back. You see that? The word of the Lord came to the prophet that brought him back. Listen to what they do going to tell him. And he cried unto that man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord. For as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord and has not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee. You, let's, read it, let's read that part again. I like that part. Go ahead. Verse as 21. Much, go ahead. And he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus says the Lord, For as much thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord and has not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee. Because that's like a lot of us do. I mean, you come in these doors, God's commanded you, say, hey, brothers and sisters, this is the elders I set over y'all. Nah, 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 uh, uh, nah, they're not, they're not, they're not my, they're not my elder. Nah, 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 I I be having dreams. God talked to me through dreams. I be having dreams. Yo, sister, you need to shut the hell up with your dream. Nobody want to listen to your big mouth dream. Keep your dream to your damn self. Yeah, that's because of dream we're in the condition we're in today. Because of sister dream. Look at Eve. Look at Eve dream. Go ahead. But came his back and has eaten bread and drank water in the place of which the Lord did say to thee, eat no bread and drink no water. That's not why we say on, when we have class, we say brothers and sisters, leave YouTube alone. That's not what we tell them, bro. Yeah, man. He say, leave it alone. No, don't tell me what to do. I'm a grown-up woman. One sister told me when that thing in the UK was happening, she reached out to me. She said, Deacon, I want to go take a test in Dallas. Then the, her officer reached out to her and tell her that, hey, sis, why now I don't think it's a good idea for you to take a ride with the old man. You know what? She's she going to call me and say, I don't know what's wrong. I'm a grown-up woman. I'll wait until she finish talking uh, 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 whatever folly she had in her I say, sis, if you're a grown-up sister, you're in the wrong place. Because I'm thinking that that's what, that, that I'm familiar with God, say, being a children. Come to this as a humble. You say you're a grown-up woman. You understand that you're in the wrong camp if you're a grown-up woman. <laughs> but think about it. Because of her being not thinking, imagine that, that officer trying to protect her, say, sis, I'm not telling you don't go, but pick another person that can go with you. You would think she's going to have common sense and realize that the brother looking out for her. She reached out to me thinking that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the brother's words or something. No, sis, listen. Humble yourself. That's what's wrong with us as a people. Humble yourself. Sometimes it's a sign the Lord sent to you, man. It's a sign. Because you're so prideful, you know, you're not going to catch the sign. Pay attention, man. We tell you, leave YouTube alone when you first come in. Nah, 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 nobody can tell me what to do. 
We tell you their brother, their sister being put in a way, don't talk to them. No, nobody's going to tell me what to do. I'm going to call them anyway. Okay. Eat the food. I hope, I hope their food do you well. <laughs> Eat the food. Go ahead. But came his back and has eaten bread and drank water in the place of which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread and drink no water. Thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. There was his judgment. <laughs> Go ahead. And it came to pass after he had eaten bread. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what's so interesting about this? A lot of brothers and sisters is saying that they want God to come down and tell them. <laughs> Remember, you know what the scripture said? The scripture said, then God told God them to, to the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. But he did not listen. Same thing Deacon said. We said, hey, Facebook is going to be your downfall. Facebook represents that bread and that wine he's talking yeah. about. Mm -hmm. We're telling you, stay the hell away from it. The word is not coming from us. It's coming from God. <laughs> the sister, the brother told the sister, hey, do not get in the car with this brother. Same thing happened. We say, hey, listen, your sister, do not do, not do this, do not do that. Because they see the blood with long fringes in the Bible. How do you know the blood is not going to whip you? We, we tell you not get in the car with him for a reason. You go, I'm a grown ass woman. You're going to tell me what to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what happened to my ex. They put, they put her out. Sister here talking to them. It's talking to her. So <laughs> now, you know I mean? the, yeah, so now you go, go ahead, eat the, the, the food. Most I said, don't eat the food, don't drink it. Go ahead, eat it. We're going to see the if it's going to turn out good for you. Same thing. Then they wonder, why they're sick? Why they're sitting here breaking bread, being sick? That's a sick spirit. Because you disobey every laws. Then you wonder why, why the Lord, maybe, maybe I will pray the Lord to bless me. Maybe I'll pray the Lord to do that for me. Maybe I'll pray that, you wonder why we ain't right? It's the same thing as Akon. You understand? Taking the garment. It's the same thing. You ain't no different from Akon. Because of you, that's why the Lord is not blessed. But think about it. Because of you, you cause, you, you, uh, 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 you bring trouble to their spirit or up in here. You bring trouble to Israel because you disobey God. You disobey what, what the law said. Keep these people away. No, 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 no. That's my sister. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to tell her what's going on inside my house. I'm going to tell her that uh, her bro his brother ain't right too. He, I mean, he ain't right. This ain't right. But these are the things that we have to be considered. Consider. Consider that those are gossiping. <laughs> well, those are gossip spirit, man. But no, I can talk to whoever I want. Nobody can tell me who to talk to. But the leaders tell you stay away from her. The Bible, the most high, tell you stay away from her. No, I can talk to whoever I want. You free, brother. You free, sisters. Do whatever you want. Man, but there's a God. His eyes is more brighter than the sun that you're playing with. Go ahead. Verse 23. And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread and after he had drank, that he saddled for him the ass to wit for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they go to that judgment right there. Go ahead. And slew him. And his carcass was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass. Mm -hmm. And behold, men passed by and saw the carcass cast in the way, and the lion standing by the carcass. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. Just think about it. The Lord put a spirit upon the lion to eat my men alive, man. That's how you have to think. <laughs> the lion standing right there <laughs> until that man come take the bones. <laughs> think about it, that judgment. You messing with that God? That God that can allow the brick to fall upon your head while you left this thing? A brick coming up, pow! Because you thinking you're more smarter than God? Think about it. The Lord tell him he judged me. He put a spirit up on the line. Go eat that, 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 that silly nigga right there. You messing with that God? Go ahead then. More power to you. Is the same thing? The Lord put the spirit and the police officer to put them to, to put our people to death. <laughs> That's why they don't understand, man. That's why he said they deceive and they deceive belong to him. He put a death angel. He said a death angel, hey, I want you to get in this police officer right there. And that police officer is going to put that Negro to death right there. Put his knee up in his neck. 
Yep, put his up on his neck right there. That's what you guys want to say. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. But the Bible says, the deceive and the deceiver belong to him. Good and evil belong to God. Because a lot of time, especially you're a Christian, you think, oh, everything good is God. God don't do nothing bad. You, are, you, you, you crazy. You were in the wrong Bible. You were in the wrong Bible. Because the Bible describes God as a great and terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something about your, your sister that is married. You look like when you're looking at your husband, you got to looking at God himself. That's who's standing before you. You know, like, instead of, like, thinking evil for the brother or thinking, uh, thinking evil upon your wife, just pray for the sister. Pray for the brother. That they're fine to be faithful. That's your job. We cannot think evil of one another, man, when we are, when we are the children of Israel. You understand? Pray for one another. Pray the Lord for your Lord. Your Lord, pray for the sister so she get her mind right. You understand? We're not here to fight and force. I mean, it's not working out. How long are we going to acknowledge that? The word of God is going to over-succeed all that. But like the deacon just said, you sit there forcing a power. He said he created good and evil. He created good and evil. You know that, right? He's behind all that. He's telling you what to do. He said, obey my voice. Obey my voice. Obey my voice. I charge you, obey my voice. Then we said, you know what? We don't have to listen to that. Then look what he just did to the guy. He put the spirit of the lion. The lion just eat that dude standing in front of the carcass like the Lord prophesied. Then guess what's going to happen to that dude? Go ahead. Verse 26. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, it is the man of God who was disobedient unto the word of the Lord. Therefore, the Lord hath delivered him unto the lion. You see that? The Lord hath delivered him to the lion. Because he disobeyed the Lord. The Lord hath delivered him to the lion. God is everywhere, man. You remember what he told Moses? He said, listen, man, I'm going to hard, I'm going to hard fire heart. He's not going to let these people go. Then he go, go, go and tell him, let, let my people go. <laughs> Then came Moses and said, nah, you already told me what he's going to do. Why you need to send me back over there for? <laughs> well, you think about it. He told you what that guy going to do. He said, go. Tell that dude, let, let the people go. I'm going to hard his heart. He's not going to listen to you, but I want you to go anyway. That's who you're messing with? You cannot talk back. That's why you guys don't understand. You cannot talk back against your power. You cannot talk back. God set that man over you. Your husband over you. God set men over you inside the congregation. It's God that do that. But no, 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 I got to do my own thing. I'm doing my own thing. It's time for us to stop doing our own thing. Stop paying attention to your thing. Think about how glorious it is. Instead of you complaining that men don't take you out. Think about a nice table here. It's nice, nice uh, uh, candlelight. A nice dinner inside the house. But Satan will come and say, nah, I want to go to the restaurant. I want to oppress my man. You don't take me out. A wise sister would think differently. A wise sister would think differently. A righteous sister would think differently. But a silly woman, they will oppress the Lord. They will oppress the Lord. Would they not be water? You set up a nice table. You, uh, you call a sister and say, sis, can you watch the kids? Because me and my Lord want to spend some time together. That's not the same thing. No, that's not what I want. I want you to take me out. I want you to, to delegate to me. Whatever I want, that's what I want you to do. But a righteous woman would not do that. I'm not talking about your sister here. You're all righteous. Y'all look, look beautiful, all righteous. I'm hoping that's not none of y'all. I heard some sisters even tell their lords, you got to find the babysitter. <laughs> look at that big that congregation is. Come on. Look that big day. Look how many sisters in this side. I mean, you, 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 you have to set up your schedule where a sister can watch the kids, man. And have good time. Play a little Marvin Gaye. Oh, your guy's too young for that. Little Anita Baker. Your guy's too young for that. I mean, a little, what, what, what is today you can play? What, what is that today? What kind of music you can play today? Mambo, <laughs> this guy crazy, man. Say Mambo, what? What kind of R&B? What kind of nice music you all can play? 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. And but if we if we oppress together, sisters, you understand? We both oppress together. You have to control your thought not to oppress your husband. Control their thoughts. There's a lot of things y'all can do, man. Instead of sitting there, think evil upon you, Lord. Guess what? You want a house? You got to delegate to the Lord. You want a good job? You have to delegate to the Lord. Anything you want, you have to delegate your spirit to the Lord. Then guess what? Your man, that's what the Lord give you. I heard sister say uh, she going to divorce her husband. I wonder what verse is that. Can you give me a verse? But to show you how far the demonic spirit will go. Then when they want her, they want her. I want her. Sister, reach out to me. Can I talk to their brother? I say, sis, their brother just went through some things. I'm not saying don't talk to him. Give him some time. I went to Passover. I see them in the corner. I'm like, okay, go on. I'm going. Now she want to divorce her husband. Those are sick spirit, man. Those are sick people. Go ahead. Therefore, the Lord hath delivered him unto the lion, which has torn him and slain him, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake unto him. You see that the Lord commanded that. He go against what God is telling him. Judgment came. Judgment came for that brother, man. You understand? It's a, all of us here, we're not above judgment. We're not above God's laws, man. So let's humble ourselves. Let's start praying for one another, man. Let's start building one another. Instead of thinking evil, instead of rolling with bitterness spirit, let's start loving one another, man. Let's put that spirit of bitterness in the side. It's not, it cannot help us in this flesh, man. Let's put that spirit of hatred in the side. Let's obey what God said. Look at that brother. He decided he decide to do his own thing. After they charge him with something, he decided to do his own thing. Then look at the judgment that come to him. The lion eat is the simple behind up. You understand? These days is different. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. Uh, when he's talking about because you did so, I'm going to put all these curse upon you. He say I'm going to rest upon the diseases. The diseases part that I want. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 60. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Because we disobey his laws. We don't want to take the charge. He says, since you don't want to take what I tell you, I got, I got a bless for you. These curses is your bless. Since you didn't want the will bless, I'm going to bless you with these curses. HIV is going to be a bless to you. <laughs> you understand? Since you didn't want a will bless, <laughs> syphilis, all type of diseases are here. It's a bless to you today because you disobey his laws. And y'all wonder, wonder why I'm being plagued because you disobey. You understand? Now nah, that's all right. If you, come up, if you come with these diseases in Christ, he, anything can happen. He's the power of everything. You know, he created all diseases. But you refuse to humble yourself. You refuse to humble yourself, man. You end to gossip. You know what I mean? You end to tell Bell. You, know, you wonder why I'm still sick. Why I'm going through this. Why my Lord can de why, why me and my Lord can never be peace. You understand? There have to be peace inside the house. You have to learn how to submit yourself, man. Stop being so prideful because of what you want. That's what's wrong with, our, that's what wrong with us and what we want. The Lord is calling you to be at peace inside the house, man. There have to be a peace establishment inside the house. Then there ain't going to be trouble in the flesh. But if both of us know that, we know how to control that. That's okay. Trouble in the flesh, we're going to laugh about this thing. Because we know it's a time. It's just for a moment. Go ahead. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. And you shall be left few in number, whereas you were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy God. You think God care about animal sacrifice? 
You think God give a damn about animal sacrifice? He never did. He never will. But guess what? Guess what the animal sacrifice represents today? Your body. Your body represents that. So who are you going to worship in that body? You're going to worship bitterness? You're going to worship hatred? You're going to worship malice? You're going to worship... Ask yourself that. What you gonna, who are you going to serve in that body? The body of yours you have today was given to you to was given to you because you have not paid. For, you you uh, you're thinking that Christ said you hold a debt, right? If he died for your sin, you got a debt over the body right there. It's a you hold something. So wh who you choose to serve inside that thing? That's what you have to ask yourself when you live in here. This when you celebrate in this feast, ask yourself who you celebrate. Do you have the mind of the new moon today? Because I'm thinking if you're full of demonic spirit, you should have left it outside these doors. And tell the demonic spirit, wait for me outside too. Let me enjoy the Lord for now. Let the sickness spirit outside these doors, man. Because right here, I'm supposed to see all joy. When I look at you, you're supposed to smile. Smile. This is a days of gladness, a days of joy. Why are we mad? You just to look at their sister. Oh, I'm happy to see you, sis. Today is Monday. That's the feast of the Lord. I'm happy. You understand? So look at your brothers. I'm happy you're here today. You're supposed to bring joy out of God, out of the spirit of the new moon. It's supposed to be some joy. You understand? We have to look at this thing as joy. Ask, the, ask yourself who you're serving today. Ask yourself, self, who I'm serving today in this body, who, I'm, who I want to serve. You got the right to serve whoever you want. But I'm here to tell you, you know what I mean? The body was given to you to serve the Lord. Yes, Lord, Lord only. Go ahead. Uh -huh, you go back. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to Samuel right now. Samuel 15. We're going to jump to Samuel 15. Uh, go ahead. The, the book of yeah. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 1. Yeah, they go another rebellion, brother. Samuel also said to Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint thee king, to be king over his people. Over Israel. Now therefore hearken unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts. I remember that which Amalek, Amalek did to Israel. How he laid wait for him in the way. When he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek. And utterly destroy all that they have. And spare them not. But slay both man and women. Infant and suckling. Ox and sheep. Camel and ass. And Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Tem uh, Telema, 200,000 footmen and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to the city of Am Amalek and laid wait in the valley. And Saul said unto the Ken um, Kenites to go, depart, get ye down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Kenites did depart from among Amalekites. And Saul smote the Amalekites from Hevalah, Hevalah until the comest to shore that it over against Egypt. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive. You remember, the Lord tells these dudes to kill, to kill, to kill the king. He's going to keep him alive. Go ahead. And he took Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive. And utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. Mm -hmm. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the deaths of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fastling, fatlings of the lambs. But and that's, not, that's not what the, what the charge is. The Lord said, kill everything. This dude going to save their king. He's going to uh, leave their king alive and talk about he take the best animal. That's not what God tell him to do. Go ahead. And the lambs. And all that was good and would not utterly destroy them. Because guess what? He had a covetous spirit on him too. Go ahead. A lying demon and a covetous spirit. But okay. everything that was vile and refused that they destroyed utterly. Mm -hmm. Then came the word of the Lord unto Samuel saying, It repented me that I have set up Saul to be king. For he is turned back from following me. And have not performed my commandments. You see that? God said, uh, Saul has not performed his commandment. His charge he gives Saul. 
Listen to this. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried unto the Lord all night, because Samuel loved so. You understand? The prophet crying for their brother. Go ahead. And when Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning, it was told Samuel, saying, Saul came to Carmel, and behold, he set him up a place, and is gone about, and passed on, and gone down to Gilgad. And Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord. I have performed the commandment of the Lord. <laughs> this dude is crazy, man. This dude is crazy. There go, he come with that spirit of lying, like some, some of your brother do. Brother, did you do your, your thing for the week? Yeah, I did it. Say, brother, give me the paperwork. Oh, 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 oh. Some of y'all got the lying demon on you. That's the same thing Saul. The prophet talked to Saul. He, you would think that he would be mindful. The prophet see everything. You would think he would be mindful. He lying into that dude. Why didn't that dude face? Some of y'all do that, do that here too. Go ahead. And Samuel said, what meaneth then this bleeding of the sheep in my ears and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Saul said, they have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. Hey, read verse 3. Read um, verse first, three. Let's, say what, let's say if, that God, if God told them to save them to sacrifice. What verse 3 said? Verse 3, now go and smite Amalek and utterly... He said, kill all the Amalekite. What else? And utterly destroy all that they have. Dis kill everything they have. What else? And spare them not. Don't spare none of them. What else? But slay both men and women. Kill men and women. Infant. This is God talking. Infant. I want you to kill men and women. I want you to kill the infant. The babies. The babies. Talk about the babies. That's the guy we're serving. He said, kill men, women. In the babies, what else? And suckling ox and sheep and camel as all the animals. Kill all the animals. Kill all the animals. What does he say? And that was a commandment, right? Yeah. So here comes this dude. Now he go, oh, I save these. So I want to sacrifice them. No, you save them because you want to do carry goat. That's what you serve them for. Thank you, Benji. Now you got Amalek. Now Amalek got their foot in our neck because of Benji. Thank you, Benji. Benji. We appreciate you. Yeah. Almost like I got to get wool of them. You didn't want to get wool of them. Thank you. Yeah, that's appreciate what the you. Lord. That's why the Lord fired Benji. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why most I got to fire Benji. <laughs> Go ahead. He went Benji back doing uh, uh, poor time, but huh. most I say, hey, I, we got to get wool of Benji, man. <laughs> Thank you, Benji. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's jump. Let's jump. Though. Oh, Let's verse. Jump. Where you at? I'm on verse. I was at verse 15. Go ahead. Verse 15. And Saul said, they have brought them from the Amalekites, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God, and the rest we have utterly destroyed. But the Lord say obey his voice. He don't care about sacrifice. They go, this dude going to save the animal, act like he going to buy the Lord with animal sacrifice. That's like some of you are breaking the Sabbath. No, uh, uh, I'm going to work in the Sabbath, but I'm going to give, uh, uh, when I give money for what was that thing? Donation? What is that? No, no, no. Uh, arm, arm. Yeah, I'm going to give double arm. Double arm. That this guy dumb. Double arm. I'm going to give double arm. There you go. You break the Sabbath, I'm going to give double arm. Break every fist. I'm going to give God the Lord double arm. The Lord don't give you the damn you about your money, man. Keep your money and keep God's commandments, man. What about that? Keep God's commandments. Go ahead. Verse 16, then Samuel said unto Saul, stay, and I will tell thee what the Lord has said to me this <laughs> night. And he said unto him, say on. And Samuel said, when thou was little in thy own sight, was thou not made the head of the tribes of Israel? The Lord said to that dude, you was nothing. I made you to be king over Israel. When you look at little of your sight, meaning that you was nobody. The Lord said, you was nobody. I make you king over the nation of Israel. A lot of us, we was nobody. We was nobody. The Lord weighs you up and give you some type of platform. The Lord build you up when you are, uh, when you, either you are some higher wink wife. The Lord put you up there. You understand? To be able to treat sisters right. Same thing as brothers. The Lord give you this position, man. Be able to treat brothers right. Go ahead. 
And the Lord anointed thee king over Israel. And the Lord sent thee on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy the sinners of the Amalekites and fight against them until they be consumed. Mm. Wherefore, then didst thou not obey the voice of the Lord, but didst fly upon the spoil and didst evil in the sight of the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. And Saul said unto Samuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of the Lord. See that guy? He keep lying again. He lie again. <laughs> that prophet just tell him that he lied again, which some of y'all do. Lying again. Go ahead. And, I, and have gone the way which the Lord sent me, and have brought Agag, the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed the Amalekites. But the people took of the spoil. Now the people took the spoil. Now, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Sheep and oxen, and chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto the Lord thy God in Gilgal. You notice that people would take heed off of him just to point the finger. Now I point it to the people. The people did that. But you're supposed to be king over the people. You're supposed to tell them what to do. Go ahead. And Samuel said, Has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices <laughs> as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. You see what Samuel said? The Lord doesn't give a damn about your animal sacrifice, man. It's to obey what he's told you, man. You simple Benjamite. <laughs> the hell one with you. Go ahead. And to hearken then the fat of rams, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Let's see what God said. Rebellion is like a uh, what is like rebellion a is as the sin of witchcraft. You see that when you rebel, the Lord say you a witch. <laughs> when you rebel, brother, the Lord say you a witch. <laughs> You're dealing with different type of spirit when you rebel. Go ahead. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. See. Idolatry. You worship other gods. Go ahead. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Uh, see, and listen to what uh, Samuel said. The, uh, I want you to read that part right there, the part you just finished with. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Okay. At that moment, the Lord rejected dude. That means that he fired from being a king, right? Remember, that's the, 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 the prophet said, you fired. The Lord fired you from being a king. But look what Saul just done to, to, uh, to Samuel. Look, pay attention. Verse 27. Yes, John. Verse, verse 27. And Samuel turned about to go away. He said, this dude is crazy. I'm out of here. He laid hold upon the skirt of his mantle and writ, and it writ. He had to do it hard. Uh, whip that dude because he's a king. So he grabbed that dude. Go ahead. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day. <laughs> the, and Lord, hath, the Lord take it away from you. Go ahead. And hath given it to a neighbor of thine that is better than thou. <laughs> you see what Samuel said? A uh, neighbor that is better than you. Go ahead. That's like a lot of you. The Lord will remove you and bring somebody that is better than you. Better than you. Yep. I heard brother said, I have you I see to build in. I'm behind the media. I did. But the Lord build other men, bring them up. Who do better job than you? Yep. Yes. You understand? Verse 29. Hey, hey Laba. Brothers used to hold us hostage. They put to do it, to put a video out. Brothers used to make shot a video. They didn't put it out until next year. Mm -hmm. Now most I got bring brothers now put out in an hour. In an hour. Yeah, that was a sister. Brothers that's better than you. Yeah, that was a sister. She can do good bread. But she will hold that she will hold that thing against sister, just show a little sister. But the best bread she would not teach sister. Where's she at today? <laughs> Where's she at today? Where's she at today? But I bet you your sisters, some of you are marvelous in doing bread. Best bread. You understand? Where the hell is she at? Back, back, back in the dirty couch. Make your bread there, sister. Go ahead. Give it to your husband there. Verse, Go ahead. Verse 29. And also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he should repent. <laughs> then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now, I pray thee. You see what he told Samuel? I have sinned, honor me now. He grabbed that dude, he said, honor me now. Because you know what Saul, what Saul care about the people. He want the people to know that he was still king. Yep. You understand? That's like a lot of y'all. Y'all were fringes. But behind the scene, you'll curse your husband out. Your husband no good. 
You understand? That's like your brothers. Your wife fringes, your Christian wife out behind the scene. You understand? You're the devil on earth. You understand? Be very mindful, brothers, because you only care about what men see you to be. Be very mindful on that. Be very mindful. Like I tell your guys, man, keep it short when you get the sisters. Your guys that marry, I'm telling you, no need to entertain demons. Sister, you out of the spirit. That's it. And keep it moving. No need to go in and out with any sisters, man. Sister, you out of the spirit, man. Or you out of pocket. Until you get, until you get your mind, I ain't going to say nothing to you for now. She can talk, do all that talk she want. Don't entertain that demon. I'm telling you, as soon as you say, sister, you out of the spirit, be quiet. If she a, she, if she a godly sister, she going to understand what you just tell her. But if she a wicked sister, she's going to continue to talk. <laughs> like she dead in a damn sin. Go ahead. Then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now, I pray thee, before the elders of my people. You see that? He wants Samuel to honor him in front of the, in front of the elders so they can see that he's still king. <laughs> he's still king. Go ahead. And before Israel. That's why some brothers, some, some, some sisters you take out, yeah, a lot of your sisters, they're not right in the kitchen. So when your Lord take you out, you feel so bad because you used to exert your power in the kitchen. <laughs> your brothers, soon they take you down, you also care about the position more than honor the Lord. Listen, brother, the position can be taken away. But honor the Lord, you have to constantly do that, man. Do the works, that's what the Lord can. You're talking about a position can always take away. You understand? But honor the Lord, brother. Don't honor the wink. Honor the Lord. A lot of you, that's what you do. That's why you're on YouTube talking, talking nonsense on YouTube. Soon they take away that wink, hey, brother, it's over. Like it's the end of the world or something. Brother, go back and build your character. Build your spirit. You're going to be all right, bro. Your same thing, sister. They take you down from the, from, the, from the kitchen. Go back and come back stronger in the kitchen. You understand? Obviously, if you notice your name is always mentioned in the kitchen, nobody has to tell you the devil from the kitchen. I tell you that that sister reach out. She used to work in the kitchen. She used to use a deacon lobber. Uh, uh, that's why when I was in the world, I hang with a lot of men. I used to despise hanging with sisters. I'm listening to this. Oh, uh. Then I, I, she finished doing all that talking. I said, sis. Then she said, yeah, you know, I'm in the kitchen. That's why I don't like to work with sisters this and that. I'll wait until she finished doing that talking. I said, sis. You never consider maybe you might be the devil inside the kitchen? Then she said, I never think about it like that, Deacon Lava. I said, you never consider that? I said, after you left the kitchen, did the kitchen still going on? Yes, the kitchen going on. That means now you have to examine you now. Because if you claim you was the, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to say the word there. You know, if you claim you was the, so why are the kitchen still going on then? There's a lot of you, that's the demonic spirit. Without me, the kitchen would not run. Sister, it's Satan talking to you or in you. <laughs> you understand? Anybody here is a number. I hope you all know that with the Lord. You're just a number. Either you're going to be right or you're going to touch you out just like a garbage you were, a garbage you're going to remain. A wicked you were, a wicked you're going to remain. That's not scripture can change some of you. Tell you all straight, there's no scripture, there's no precept that can change you all. A sister live out of here. She gonna say, uh, uh, you know why I left? Because of uh, Deacon Aesop and Deacon Laba. No, sister, you didn't left for me. <laughs> you need to examine. You need to examine what's coming out your mouth. Maybe go watch watch what you claim that I said. <laughs> you understand? Or get mad at Deacon Aesop because of the uh, blue waffle. You know what I'm saying? Why? Y'all crazy, man. <laughs> Y'all sister's crazy. Listen, man, this walk, let me tell you something about this walk, sister. Either you're going to build a, 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 a tough skin, you understand, know how to deal with one another, or you're just going to fold right, right into the garbage. And then I feel sorry for you. Then you're going to be outside these doors hoping for, uh, why you guys don't let me in? Why this? Why that? But the Lord going to reject you, just like he rejects Saul. After a while, you're going to go back to your demonic you were. You're going back in the world doing sickness you were doing. Back wearing pants. You know, you know what's, so, what's so funny about when they say they left? What wearing pants have to do with you left? <laughs> but the Bible still remains, a woman shall not wear what belongs to a man. 
So why are you left? You went through air pain. That means you never believe in the first place. You understand? You never believe. Just like Lock wife, the Bible describes her as an unbelieving soul. Make sure that's not you, sis. Make sure that's not you, brother. You up in here wearing fringes, you are an unbelieving soul. You understand? There's no scripture can change you. By now, if you've been with your husband five, three, four years now, you have to consider he, he's still over you. He's over you. There's nothing you're going to say who's going to bend him out of shape. A lot of your, your husband used to bow down to you in the world. The brother come here now, he got men to build him up now. He said, no, sister, I ain't going to bow down to you no more. Oh, now he become a twit. He become a twit now. Because he used to bow down to you. Now he said, no, no, sister, be quiet. And sit your ashy black behind here. No, 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 don't talk to me like that. Oh, let me say it again. Sit your ashy black behind over here. I'm not stutter. You'll get mad when the husband say, uh, uh, you the devil. You'll get mad. The devil means you deceiver. You deceive. You are the spirit of deceive you're willing with, man. You understand? You guys get the bread ready, man. I'm about to end this. Go ahead. Uh, verse 31. Yep. So Saul turned again after so Samuel turned again after Saul, and Saul worshiped the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then said Samuel, Bring ye hither to me Agag, the king of the Amalekites. And Agag came unto him de delicately. And Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. <laughs> He thought that he, he, he's going to stay alive. Go ahead. And Samuel said, as thy sword hath made women childless, so shall thy mother be childless among women. It's the same. You see, that's the punishment of Esau, man. Hey, I mean, that's what he do to people. So the same thing he do to people, the Lord going to do the same thing to him. Go ahead. And Samuel hewed Agag in pieces before the Lord in Gilgal. Yep. Then Samuel went to Ramah. You see, by the way, Samuel was a Levite. We don't play around. People say the Levi is hard. I heard sister come in the radio show talking about the Levi is, is harsh. Are you damn right we harsh. And we didn't care about the mother. We didn't care about the children. You break God's law, we're going to kill you straight up. That's how we roll. When we was in our right frame of mind. Yeah, we wolf. You want, to be, you want us to be underneath your skirt or something? No, we ain't rolling like that. Go ahead. Then Samuel went to Ramah, and Saul went up to the house to hit to his house to Gibeah. Yeah, of I guess. Saul. I, I guess. I guess nobody gonna reach out for me. You know what I'm saying that's it. That's it. it no sister gonna reach out for me. That's rough. it. They can lie, but he's wolf. But don't worry. Behind the wolfness, there's a spirit of a, a of compassion, love. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Behind behind that, there's a spirit of compassion and love. You just have to meet their, their, their compassion and love. That's it. Damn. I said, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I remember I was one of the, either one, uh, I think it was a man conference or a grand opening. Then we in the womb. Bishop, we all in the womb. Then I had the womb across the street from Bishop. Then this brother chased me, chased me from the, I was going to the other womb. He chased me down. He said, Deacon, Deacon, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? I said, Yo, what's up, man? And he said, Deacon, hey, man, you... Inside that womb, you you cool as hell. But I I see you on TV, man. I used to I used to be scared to even meet you. I say, brother, when you get to do to the work of the Lord, I'm I still stiff. But when you get to hang to brother, I'm the brother who hang with me know me. I'm the most cool brother you can hang with, hanging with me. But guess what? When it's time to do the the charge of the Lord, you going I take it seriously, man. Then I want y'all guys to take it seriously towards me too. Go ahead. Verse 35. And Samuel came no more to see Saul until see the that? day of his you, death. You see that Samuel came no more to see this dude. Until Samuel, until Samuel dead. Yeah. Samuel didn't come no more to see that dude, man. But all these times before David take over, guess what? Saul was still king over the nation of Israel. What Samuel did is Samuel cut him off. Yes. Samuel says, so you want to break Mosai God's laws? Okay, I have to cut. I have to. It, today, <laughs> some of you said, uh, I'm a grown-ass man. Uh, you want me to not? Samuel <laughs> cut the, that brother off. 
No matter how much he loved him, you remember Samuel loved, loved that brother. Yeah. But Samuel said, I have to cut this brother off. This brother don't want to keep Mosiah God's laws. I'm going to have to cut him off. The scripture says, Samuel come no more. Remember, he was the king. Samuel come no more towards the brother. Samuel said, this dude is a wicked nigga. Yeah. I got to cut him off. But some of you, you refuse to cut that evil Negro you know hate Mosai. You refuse to cut him off. You refuse to cut off the family member. Some of you still smoke, smoking weed with them. You refuse to cut them off. Some of you, you refuse to cut your husband off. Your husband make it clear, I hate Mosai. You may here for two years, three years, four years, five years. We never see him. <laughs> he make it clear he hate Mosai. But guess what? You know why you sit with him? Because he provide a good lifestyle for you. Mm. Guess what? You're faking the funk. Listen, there was a sister who used to be with us for eight years. Oh, yeah. That, uh, the other day, me and Bishop was just talking about that. <laughs> eight years, never met her husband. One day, guess what happened to her? She said, I'm out. Mm. She said, he's the one who provides all this. I'm out. Yeah, if she that, became of a Mosai. Yo, if that's the same one we were referring to, you know, that husband cut HIV. She asked her, can she sleep with him? You see? That's how dumb she was. Quick judgment. I'm telling you, Samuel cut these dudes off. He was the king. Samuel said, uh, I'm not willing with no Negro don't want to keep Mosai God's laws. That's, how all, that's the spirit all of us should have. Because even though, yeah, I remember there was a judgment happening in Austin. I remember the young man said, you guys don't understand. That guy don't want to, you know, he's, the, he's my counselor. He's the one who teach me. He don't want to do that to me. I said, brother, there's nothing I can tell you, man. Hey, you got to learn how to cut people off. Yeah, it get, uh, somebody reach out to me and say, your pop, your pop died, deacon. I said, what, you, what the hell are you talking about? He said, because uh, I thought your, your dad died. No, nah, because I had a class. I said, in the class, I said, a lot of you, when, you, when your dad, who never come in this truth, when he die, you're going to show up in here and here with a sad face, like we give a damn. <laughs> we don't give a damn. You understand? That nigga never keep no law. Keep that nigga outside these doors. You understand? Yeah, sour. We're going to sour with you for, for a day or two. But don't come here with that sour face after a week, two weeks, thinking we give a damn. Christ said, let the dead bury the damn dead. That's what Christ said. That's what we're going to stand by. You understand? Then your boy, one of the brother, his boy reject the commandment. Then they're like he's there. They're like he's simple behind up. You know what I'm saying? Can we help get him out? The hell are you talking about, brother? Get your ass here uh, simple behind out of here, too. You guys don't understand, man. Give me, I'm going to end it with Psalm 94, verse 16, man. That's what's wrong with y'all. D, you got something there? No, no. Uh, Where's that? Uh, who's going to stand? Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, the yes. book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Because none of us want to stand up for the Lord. That's why you bucked out when your family died. You sit in there mourning for months. Oh, my mom died, my dad died. You don't know how much I miss them. They never miss them. I mean, you have to understand, who went them in this earth? God did. So if these dudes ain't not keeping no commandment when they die, just mourn for a day or two, man. Keep it moving, man. I'll be damned if my mom die in a Sabbath. You think I'm going to go? I'll be damned. Then y'all, I'm not saying y'all guys don't do it. I know how y'all be. I know how y'all will. Oh, Deacon Laba said. I said, I know what I would do. I'm going to do what I would do. You do what you want to do. I know y'all good on that. Oh, Deacon Laba have a class and don't do that. No, nah, I know what I would do. The hell with them. But believe me, I love my mom and dad. Trust me. But anytime you're trying to bring them in, nah, yeah, yeah, you say, yeah, yeah, you, you do, yeah, yeah, you, 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 yeah, you, you, uh, yeah, I'm serving the Lord my way. I'm serving my Lord, the Lord my way. My mom quick to say, God do this, God do that for me. But what about we repent? What about keep God's laws the way God said keep it? Then I got a, a daughter, a, 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 a home, I get dad. These dude at the age of, what is that, 96, do they bring in a six-year-old? To my mom. Dude, that ain't, ain't right. <laughs> they ain't been doing that for years. It's not the first time, man. That's how, that's how crazy he is. Then you're going to call me talking about your mother is evil. I'm listening to this dude. I say, Pop, you more evil than my mom, man. I said, since when you make us, since when you talk to us about life, what we was going to face in life, you talking about evil. You more evil than any guy I ever met, man. You never make your son sit down teaching us about life. You understand? 
Then, then, then guess what? Who know about your life, your, your life insurance? Nobody know about you. That nigga, he's crazy, man. <laughs> then you think when he passed away, I'm going to drop a T? Yeah, I might drop a T or two. Then keep it moving, man. The Lord said, who's going to stand up for him against these evil doors? It's time for you to stand in the Lord, man. Enjoy the feast. You understand? Then we're sorry for the brothers and sisters that cannot make it for this captivity, man. It's hard. But guess what? We wish there was here with us. We're going to enjoy the feast. You understand? Brothers and sisters, we love you, man. Stay strong. You all know that when I do class, I bring silver bullets and gold bullets. So whoever catch the bullets, you understand, just take it and we pin. Then I will do the same. God catch a couple of one too. Everybody got bread and wine? Raise your hand if you don't have bread and wine. Okay. See. One in the back and the sister side. One sister. Sister, can you raise your hand if you stood back there? Um. Brothers, can you please give us some bread and wine? Thank you. All right, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. For I received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, this cup in the New Testament is my blood, this do ye as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of this bread and drink of this cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily, eat it and drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pray and thank you for this bread and drink, and happy new moon, everybody. Amen. Uh, well, hold on, hold on, brother. I want to uh, shout out for the sister that make their bread. Sister, sister was in the spirit. All right, brother. Faith, patient, salvation. The truth. Faith, patient, salvation. The truth. Faith, patient, salvation. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His what? His what? His what? His what? His what?